the last time we were in these woods, it was April. The buds just starting to form are now the fallen leaves on the ground. The same ground where just behind me, Jeff Meredith found the body of a five-year-old boy in a suitcase. At that time, he told me he would give anything to find that boy's name. Today, we can tell you it was Cairo Amar Jordan. Well, thank the Lord, you know. Cairo's name is the first step yeah, towards closure in a crime Jeff reminds us never should have happened. But I just wish that he was stuck there properly before this happened, before they threw him away. <laughs> Boy, it still bothers me that somebody would have the audacity to throw somebody else away like that piece of trash. And it was a trash bag inside this suitcase that helped police find the people they say are responsible. Court documents show fingerprints of Don Coleman and DeJuan Anderson were on that bag. On October 19th, just a few days ago, Detective Busick located and arrested Don Coleman with the assistance of the San Francisco PD. She'll be back in Indiana soon, but police are still searching for DeJuan Anderson, Cairo's mother. This photo taken in March when she was caught shoplifting at Oxmoor Mall and allegedly punched an officer in the face. Jeff found Cairo less than a month later. And I know at the time you said never going down there again. It's a good day. It really is. Six months since, he's comfortable enough to share the spot where he found Cairo. See those two trees there? There's two little bitty ones right yeah. on this side of me, straight in between them two trees. A small white flag, a sign of surrender. The burden Jeff Meredith carried these six months released. It feels like the weight of the world went on my shoulder. Because when I first saw that little feller's face, it was like he was screaming help to me. The only help I know to do is to call 911. And that's what I did. And it worked. Yeah. And Jeff said his main message he wants to share tonight is a thank you to the Indiana State Police officers who did everything that they could to bring him and all of us the name of this five-year-old boy. In Washington County, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side. The numbers say Michigan State. Okay, now I'm going to take you to one other video that has part of the interview that we just watched. Grace, I want to put this little boy's death into perspective with what it meant here in the community. And I want to show you his grave. It is surrounded by flowers and toys. These weren't left behind after we learned this boy's name. They were when he was laid to rest just a short while ago here by the community. This headstone partially funded by Salem itself, the town, and it reads, a beloved little boy known but to God. And Jeff Meredith, the man who found that boy not too long ago, just six months ago, said he was fearful that he would go the rest of his life without ever knowing this boy's name. But he said he believed in a promise made to him by Indiana State Police. I'll never forget that word that, that state trooper told me. There's not going to be uh, a moment lost that we won't be looking and trying to help this little feller. And he promised me, and he, he, he came through, that he would find who done this. At this time, we can also identify, <clears throat> excuse me, identify the young man that was found in the suitcase. He was Cairo Amar Jordan. Cairo Jordan? Man, that sounds so good. <laughs> Cairo Jordan. The boy Jeff found dead and in a suitcase just off this road where a small white flag still marks the spot. Of course, today's news only bittersweet. The woman facing murder charges still at large. Juan Ludy Anderson, 37, of Atlanta, Georgia, who is the mother of the deceased child. The probable cause affidavit shows Anderson sent Facebook messages claiming her son was a demon who tried to harm her. She wrote to an Indiana pastor saying she believed he was actually 100 years old and she used blood for some kind of exorcism. In reality, he was a defenseless five-year-old boy who an entire community rallied around and Indiana State Police were able to identify. It feels like the weight of the world went on my shoulder because I got his name now. I did not want to go out of this world without knowing that little boy's name. 
because when I first saw that little feller's face, it was like he was screaming help to me. The only help I know to do is to call 911, and that's what I did. And it worked. Yeah. Thank God for the Indian State Troopers. And you can see on the headstone, there's enough space to put Cairo's full name, Cairo Amar Jordan, which we now know. And I actually talked with the cemetery. They say it'll be there as soon as possible. Live in Salem, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side. What an incredible human being he is. Like, uh, his emotion is just, mm, it made me tear up. It absolutely made me tear up. And I think that it's beautiful. I'm so glad for him as well that there is some peace in this. Um, as horrific as it is, or at least he has his name. But um, I just want to share the interview with you guys. I hope that you all are having a good one. I'll talk to you guys very soon.